Hello, we are here on 2013 March on pre-encounter that will gather, as I have explained on several videos before, all our representatives along the world here in Valencia in order to update and to continue our studies uh, under our tradition here on the headquarters. And let's talk today on a specific and special uh, small impressions or first impressions about how to use the stones on what is called suseki. Su comes from te, that means hands, and seki, that comes from ishi, that means uh, stones, it's like hands like stones, that are a specific way of the employment of the hands uh, and employment of the stones in carrying into the hands, that it's very particular from our lineage, from our traditions. This suseki is commonly used by our Sitsen tradition from the Indians uh, that uh, links our, our, our tradition of our classical studies on, in, in Japanese uh, that uh, has these stones in his hands and they employ especially on a specific uh, techniques, specific disciplines, specific methods that are especially linked to these Indians, to this uh, uh, tribal tradition, the Sisen. These are Kupo Yutsu and Kenpo. Uh, these specific studies uh, aims the use, uh, the employment of the stones as a way to damage the enemy in specific areas. I will be talking today about the Kopo Yutsu and how to break the bones using these stones. The employment of these stones and the, how to, to locate or to use these stones in the hands, it's not trivial. Uh, to talk about this is difficult because the, the, the employment of these stones and the characteristics and the geometrical uh, part of the stone uh, could offer also uh, injuries for ourselves if we don't carry properly. Then, how to use it is very important before applying it into, into the way of, of, of hitting, of striking the enemy. Then in this case it's very important not to use, uh, like if it's easy to hurt the opponent using the stones because we need uh, to learn how to employ them, how to use the special, uh, special stones and to look for uh, the ideal stones to, uh, to hit, to strike, as we are seeing. In this case, uh, we will see that uh, these specific techniques of, the, of Suseki are employed under uh, the enemies that try to, to attack ourselves with regular weapons like a katana that we will see in this case today and uh, will offer special attacks that brace completely uh, the bone structures or um, cause serious injuries in all the body and continuing alive the enemy will arrive to, to, to his town to his, uh, with, the, with the army and we'll see that they are very powerful because the attacks, the strikes cause serious injuries that they don't know because employing these stones if I close in this position they couldn't see that I am carrying stones in my hands. Then it's like they were considered as uh, strong enemies, very powerful enemies, that they are using uh, weird forces of nature and they were defended uh, with, uh, with a strange powers. Then in this case, uh, this is a way to cause fear to the enemy, um, <clears throat> a way of, uh, of surviving, a way of surveillance. Then in this case, only to, to talk about several attacks, he could, for example, from here, employ a position that will offer him a possibility or opportunity to attack me very, very fast, very easily, and reach myself using, for example, a Makuchi, that it's the most regular attack, it's a vertical and downward cut from here. And from here, I am not offering anything. I am without a weapon. It seems that my hands seems to be closed, seems to the side. And from here, I am not offering any risk to the enemy. And he will be uh, very sure that he is safe. And I cannot uh, offer any, any, uh, any risk to his attack. Then, 
In this case, he will attack very strong, very fast in order to finish myself. And when he's throwing the macro, I will go to the side and from here, employing here the stones, I will strike very strong, very fast on the, uh, on the front part of the hand here in order with the stone breaking these bones here of the hand. This will break this area that we will continue using here in order to break the radium at the distal area near the wrist here and at the same time striking upwards here, here in, the, uh, in the downside of the elbow at the same time making this strong liberates in order to break from here I will continue striking here here and continue breaking other areas like the mental area here a striking here on the throat at the same time pressing on the nerves near the clavicula here and this will cause serious injuries like for example breaking the nose breaking the eye uh, taking out the eye or tearing the eye using the stones striking very fast on the ear area in order to cause serious injuries that seems how a man could uh, cause these types of injuries to a someone that is uh, hanging a katana and he's without because the first surprise is the enemy because with a violent and fast technique it's impossible to 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 watch or to stare that i am carrying here uh, some stones then employing this uh, this kind of attack more fast you will see that it's impossible to see because i am here he will attack in a fast map off from here please and from here i go out and escape we could do it with several enemies we could employ uh, this kind of techniques employing also for uh, for performing torques, for performing performing joint locks, that will empower our technique. Then in this case, for example, the same attack we could use several other types of defense. For example, he could attack at the same way, please. For example, we could strike in a different situation from here, striking here at the same time. I'm employing here to turn, employing with the powerful of how uh, the tips of the stone could have and from here uh, striking to break the wrist, to break the hand bones, from here passing from this in order to break, we could uh, strike knee, we could strike ankle, using here this position like to perform a strong copo, a strong method of the bones, a strong method of how to break the bones. Then he will be unable to defend and the injuries that will be causing the enemy will be surprising the enemy in any case. Then only seeing this, only to solve some examples how to do in this case. For example, attacking on Kesagiri here, for example, I could start here. We have this position in order because he could turn here I could at the same time here breaking breaking with the stones striking 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 here breaking the wrist taking here with a strong strike on the knee not please to the ground here and striking here to break the ankles here knee nose breaking the area of the arteries and the nerves in the neck area here or the throat itself taking pressing grabbing and turning down etc is to say the employment of these stones became some kind of powerful not only for the injuries that cause but also the fear that could uh, be uh, put into the enemy then with this Let's keep updating all the information, all the specific studies that we have in our school that uh, for me, in my personal impression, gives a lot of uh, continuous, a lot of 
a special and interesting points of view that links us to other uh, vision, to other uh, perspective of what is a martial art and what is the difference with a traditional school that has uh, this kind of studies, this kind of specific uh, things that makes different from not only a practice of fighting, but also a cultural and a full of uh, cultural uh, tradition. Then, thank you very much for all this attention and I hope to uh, solve all your expectations about how is your tradition, how uh, have all these details and thank you very much for your subscription. Thank you.